number one, par five, downhill. Clubhouse, just back over there. Second hole, second shot on the first hole. Uh, pulled my first shot into the trees, took a drop, just punched one down there with a seven iron. Pitched my third shot on. It's actually my line four because of the drop. I'm going to putt for par. Beautiful second hole. Par three, 155 yards downhill. 388 yard par four. 230 to clear the bunker on the left. Beautiful. 415 par four. Beautiful lodges. Par five, no, no, beautiful oh, hole. I'm going back to the clubhouse if you're. <laughs> I think I hit that eight again, didn't I? Beautiful. Number six, another par four. Looks good. Not enough, no. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Par five, 540. Bunkers out front, slight dog leg to the left. You gotta get it out past these bunkers here. Those bunkers there are... This is the approach to the par five, number seven. Another par four, 410. Not much of a landing area, bunkers on the right and long left. Gorgeous hole. 213 to cover the bunker. Number nine. Beautiful. Helicopter landing there on the left. Oh, T at 10. Gold and blue up there. White here. There it is. Second shot on number 10. Nice ball. Number 11, another beautiful hole. Short par four, 362. It's 250 to that bunker on the right down there. Second shot into number 11. Number 12, another beautiful little hole, 378 yard par four. You gotta hit it up across this little pond. It's easy. The bunkers on the right are about 220. And then you have a nice 150 into the elevated green that's protected by crap in front. 13. Back tees. White tees. Beautiful par five. And again downhill into a little breeze. You can see the lake in the background. Bunkers. It's a short par five. It's, uh, it's drivable in two if you get a good drive. Tea. Lodges in the background. Here's my ball. Got about 220 into the hole. That's a reach hole. Beautiful Humber Valley Golf Course. One of the best looking holes. Number 14, par 3, right next to the river. Short par four. Mighty driver. This is the green on 15. That is Carl's tee shot. 
where he put it on the green with his driver from 275. In the home stretch, number 16, as straight as you can get, par 4, with a nice hill with the cabins on the side there. It's 246 to get past the bunkers on the left. Uh, here's my shot. I just punched out after a terrible tee shot. Now I have some 225 to the green. I'm going to attempt to hit a draw 3 wood into the green. Beautiful number 17, par 3, 130 yards, big valley on the right as you can see, bunkers all around, a nice view of the clubhouse up on the top of the hill, beautiful chalets in the woods there and behind, looks like a gorgeous hole from the goals back there, a long way, this is Humber Valley, here it is, the last 18 497 yard par 5 down the hill again major pond and trouble on the right bunkers on the left obviously you want to be down where those guys are right there for a look in lots of wind wind helping you you want to pound it down but you don't want to go right Carl's approach on 18 188 yards you don't walk this golf course. Let's take the trail. We're leaving number nine, beautiful hole. We're heading up to the clubhouse. You could not walk this. It is like going up the gross mark. Carl, how's your game? It was all right. I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed the back nine much better than yesterday. I shouldn't complain about the three points because I hit a couple of shots and I got away with them. Little frog. See that? Yeah. 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 Still going up the hill. Jeez, it's a minute and ten seconds later. Stuck in a rut. Yeah. Well, so hard to get forward momentum going again. Four hours. What time we get up? 9:30. Actually, less than four hours. Three and a half hours. Perfect. Yeah, we never teed off till a little later than 9:30. Turn yes. like no. yes. It's that way. One last look. Signature hole, Humber Valley.